Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and give you guys just a quick update on what's going on with third trimester trash Tristan Thompson and his newest baby mama, Marley Nichols. All right, so listen. Tristan Thompson, uh, Tristan Thompson's baby mama, Marley Nichols, breaks silence on affair and shares first photo of their love child. So the Sacramento, Sacramento Kings player suffered a huge loss in his paternity case with the fitness model this week as a judge ruled he could not fight this case in Texas. So for those who don't know, Tristan has been trying to get this case taken care of, the child support case taken care of here in Texas because basically um, when you compare the type of money that Marley would have been receiving if it would have went through here in Texas to what she's probably going to receive um, now that she is in California, um, there would, there's a huge gap, right? Um, the cost of living period is not on the same level as the cost of living um, in California, especially when you start talking about like Los Angeles, you know, San Diego, San Francisco, you know. So the cost of living is nowhere near like it is up there. Um, so that's why he wanted to, um, again, get those child support payments filed here in Texas because his payments would have been very, very, she probably would have been receiving just a couple of thousands of dollars, honestly. Like, that's it. Compared to girl, what the girls would, would, would receive in New York City or again, Los Angeles, California. All right. So speaking out for the first time publicly, Marley 31 slammed inaccurate reports about her relationship with Tristan and shared her first photo of the brand new baby with e -News. e News. She said, over the past couple of weeks, many inaccurate and false stories have been circulated about me. I have not at any point released, nor have I directed anyone else to release any information regarding, regarding Tristan Thompson or any litigation involving him. I have never spoken to any media outlet, nor have I leaked any information to anyone at any time. I am providing this statement because I feel like I must defend my character. I have seen fake stories, unflattering photos of me, people using photos that are not even me, starting, I'm sorry, stating an inaccurate occupation and age. There have been multiple fake Instagram posts claiming to be me making false statements and attaching stock photos of a sonogram and a child, neither mine. Um, these are facts. I have lived in California since 2019. I am not a personal trainer. Remember the story was she actually lived in Texas and then they say that she had moved to California right before she popped out that baby, okay? Right before she popped out that chick. Because we're not going to play these games and say, well, I need to have that baby for that shit. But girl, it is what it is, girl. The girls, get your money, girl. <laughs> girl, get your money, girl. I'm not mad at nobody, girl. If they, like I said, if these men want to walk around here knowing, let me say something. If y'all men from Tristan Thompson to the futures on down, if y'all want to go around and continue to stick your raw penis inside of a vagina and shoot up a woman's club and then be surprised because she has the baby, girl, at some point, you're going to have to realize that for some of these women who choose to engage in sexual activity with you men, you're nothing more than just sperm in a checking account. That's it. So if you're willing to just start giving money up, giving money away, don't be mad when these women who you meet are just as low down, dirty, and trifling as you. Because, girl, I'm going to say something at the end of this video that's going to shake the table a little bit. But, girl, stop getting mad when you meet these women who move the same way you move. They don't give a damn. Okay? All right. So um, she also says, again, she says she's lived in California since 2019. There were reports saying that she lived in Houston and she moved up to California right before she had the baby. <laughs> okay, but she said she lived in now, lived up there since 2019. I have not worked as a personal trainer for four years. I do fitness modeling. I was never a personal trainer for Tristan. 
The fitness model then added that she met Tristan at a party at at his Encino, wait, Encino, was it Encino, California home? Is that how you said? E-N-C-I-N-O, Encino. Um, I wanted to say Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco wanted me. Ocho Cinco wanted me. Um, I saw Tristan in March 2021 around his birthday. He told me he had wanted to see me. Um, I agreed to meet him in Houston at a private party on March 12th. I never drove a Maserati to meet Tristan as he claimed. He has never even been in my vehicle. I used an Uber or was driven around by friends that weekend. Houston was one of the many nights we spent together soon after his birthday weekend in Houston. Tristan invited me to visit him in Boston. Um, a few weeks after her trip to Boston, Tristan's alleged mistress said she learned that she was pregnant. She later disclosed the news to the athlete while visiting him in North Carolina at the end of April. She said her baby boy was born on December the 1st. Um, and that, that's pretty much everything else we've already discussed. Uh, Marley's statement followed um, the news that the professional basketball player suffered a loss. And the, you know, we are, already talked about that. In his paternity case, the judge um, basically said no to Tristan trying to file the case in Texas. And that's pretty much it. Now, listen, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, it is what it is. Um, everybody ain't trying to be Michelle Obama. Everybody ain't trying to be Oprah Winfrey. Everybody ain't trying to be Barack Obama. That's completely fine. Girl, I'm not either. <laughs> okay. Um, but, you know, I don't feel sorry for the, I don't feel sorry for Chloe. I don't feel sorry for Tristan. I don't feel sorry for Mara Lee. You know, I think that what these men need to start realizing again, that they're nothing but nothing more than but sperm in a checking account. You know, y'all want to move dirty and trifling in these streets. Some of these women are moving just as dirty and trifling as you too, girl. They don't give a damn. They just want they just want a check, okay? And if I got to push out a baby to get me about $15,000 or $10,000 a month, girl, that's fine. I can do a lot with ten dollars or $15,000 a month, right? You know, morally, it is what it is, girl. You know, I, 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 I'm about to say something that I know some of y'all probably going to roll y'all eyes. Every situation is different, okay? That's the first thing I want to say. Every situation is different. I know for a fact that when these men do creep, when these men do step outside of their relationships, a lot of them lie, okay? But I also feel like in this situation, for whatever reason, I believe that Marley just didn't give a damn. And that's completely fine. She has no loyalty to Chloe Kardashian. It's trifling and low down as uh, Chloe is, the way that we know Chloe moving these streets, right? From Trina on down to Larsa, on down to the first baby mama of Tristan's. We know Chloe moves dirty. So I, I don't even feel no sympathy towards Chloe at all. But I think Marley, girl, you want to, you bring up your character. You know, your character is that question. We done all did some trifling stuff before. Lord knows, in my 20s, you know, girl, I... Girl, girl I was a heathen. I was a southern heathen Jezebel with the lala spirit running all through my veins, honey. I didn't give a damn. Girl, I don't live there no more. You know, I'm older now. I ain't got time for all that. All I'm trying to get to is Marley. Girl, you and that ball was you Like, you want to say and start bringing up your character, but the truth of the matter is you knew your character became in question when you knowingly laid down with Tristan Thompson knowing damn well he was, in, he was in with Chloe. I'm not trying to take the blame away from Tristan Thompson. I am not because Tristan Thompson is trash to me. Okay. All I'm saying is I don't think that Marley is just this innocent victim woman who just got involved with this man and he lied to her. Bitch, you was, a, you was communicating with that man via Snapchat. It was a reason why you was doing that. You knew that Tristan was involved with Chloe. You knew you just didn't care. And that's completely fine. But girl, I think that you have to realize, girl, your character came into question when you decided to roll around with a pig. Okay? When you decided to lay down with trash, girl, you became trash too. Sorry, girl. Like I said, girl, we've all done trifling stuff before. We've all moved in these streets shady. Um, at least I know I have, right? 
Um, but, you know, we're not going to sit here and be like, oh, well, girl, I no, girl, sometimes you just don't give a damn. And I'm here to let y'all know, I think that Marley knew exactly what the fuck was going on. I think she just didn't give a damn. Um, again, you know, her, Chloe's tr uh, feelings are not um, Marley's responsibility. I understand that relationship or whatever Chloe and Tristan had going on was not Marley's responsibility. But girl, you knew what the hell was going on with Tristan and Chloe. You still engaged and fuck shit. Um, and also, you a goddamn fool for naming that baby after Tristan. I wish I would give a man my child's name after he told me that girl, he didn't want nothing to do with him. I'm still going to file these child support payments, though. <laughs> That's what I am going to do. Anyways, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all girls later. Bye.